Welcome to the Tech Assembler and in this tutorial we would be discussing about action sheets in Ionic. So how these action sheet works and what are its events methods and how can we give it a custom styling. So these all things we will be discussing. So let's move to the code and see how these things works. So this is my blank application action sheet and I have given a color to my header and linear gradient to my ion content. So let's navigate to the Ion Action Sheet in Ionic Framework. So whenever you open the site Ionic Framework, so it looked like this. And just the first thing here you see is Action Sheet. So just one click. And this is what uh, Action Sheet looks like. So whenever you click a button on an Action Sheet or where you want to perform a um, Action Sheet-like function. So here you can see you the pop-up. Uh, comes out from the bottom and here we have a list of actions what we need to do on a particular click so whenever you click it it, it is associated with a particular action so this is how action sheet works in ios and this is how it looks like uh, in android phones so we're gonna make something like this so we di directly jump to the usage part and this is how uh, it is used so uh, for that we need a controller that is action sheet controller for this so this is my blank application so first of all i will make a button so that on a particular button click we just directly jump to the action sheet so here it is my button and the text is this okay perfect and let's see how it looks And it looks perfect because we don't have any function associated to this action sheet button so it will definitely gives us error so now associate the functions okay so just copy this and go to the ts file and just implement it here so on this click I just console console log that we are in action sheet so see how it works yeah and it works perfectly so it prints out the action sheet now we need to implement action sheet for that we need to uh, use the constructor sorry constructor or uh, we need a controller for that i use action sheet it's a nickname whatever we give but uh, i recommend you to use the name associated with the controller only so action sheet controller here it is so <clears throat> i use this to create an action sheet so for that i use one constant that is action sheet constant okay and here I will use action sheet dot create method and here we have a create method so let's look what this create method in action sheet looks like so just control and click over action sheet then click over here action sheet options so whenever we just go to the action sheet options so we need to pass these things okay uh, because it is an interface you can just directly go to the uh, website also so there you can get what are the parameters you have to pass so i just uh, passed for now a header and a button okay so let's directly do we need to enclose in a curly braces and here we need to pass header header we need to give anything so i just write action space sheet okay and then we need to give a button button is type of array so here you need to specify what role it is and what's the name of the button and what is icon associated with with it and we need to handle the handler if a particular person click on that button so what action it needs to be performed so let's look so inside button we just go over here so it gives us the action sheet button so whenever i go yeah here action sheet buttons have the following things the text role and the follow so i just copy this all 
okay and just paste it over here so this is all look and i just remove things to show you what these things uh, means what these things do okay so first of all we we'll talk about what is uh, the text text means whatever text you want to show over the button so i just write it over here a camera and a role is role is something that you can give only three things you can pass it over role that is destructive cancel or selected destructive means whatever you write destructive should come to the top of the button and if you write uh, uh, cancel so it def it automatically move to the bottom of the button so no matter how it is been placed in an array sheet of the buttons it automatically comes down okay so i will write here i don't give this okay and then we have icon icon is camera and we don't have any classes associated now and this is i just give a comma over here so this is one button and let's see how it looks after refreshing okay the action sheet is not popping up why why because we haven't presented it okay so there are two three methods like create and then we have another method to present the action sheet for that we need to write this action sheet not this we use we need to use this constant okay so dot present is ent and then semicolon okay so here one more thing we have to specify we have to make uh, this action sheet function to be asynchronous so for that we i will just specify async in front of my uh, action sheet function and uh, inside that i will use await okay so this is how uh, after this action sheet is been created then only this action sheet constant will present the action sheet hami ha okay so now see it will present or not so let's refresh it and perfect we have added one button that is camera and this is the header of our action sheet and we don't have any function associated with this camera so to assign a function we need to use one more thing that is the handler so we need to define over here handler equals to this is the arrow function and inside that we just console log sorry we need to console log the camera okay i think i just mistaken the spelling of camera no perfect okay so whenever i hit the camera button it should console camera so this is how you can make the action sheet and we can add many things uh, like i just repeat it okay so capture or you can specify anything i just take this dummy content over here provided by the iron content okay so i just use this button for just now for the demo purpose and this is what it looks like okay i just save and see it works or not so whenever i click over here so i pop up it pop ups me few more things like camera which i just created and these things i just took it from the share music favorite and whenever i click these things it just console log me the action sheets okay so uh, i just need you to tell one more thing 
that we can customize uh, this action sheet. So how can we do? We need to specify the CSS for that. So to customize it, we need to add this a custom CSS. Okay, so we need to place this CSS in our global dot CSS because we need to uh, it doesn't allow us uh, on a specific page. So uh, let's paste it over global dot CSS. And here we just replace it. And this is how it looks. I just change the color to red for more specificity. And see it works or not. So one more thing I need to add over here. I need to add a CSS class. Okay. So here what should I define? The CSS name. Okay. So this is the name of the CSS. My custom CSS. So I just copy and paste over here. So CSS name and see uh, the changes are being made or not. And whenever I click, so this is all red. <laughs> it looks funny. So I just change the color to normal color. And here it comes as something grayish color. Okay, like this you can customize many things. And here is a list at the bottom. Uh, the things that you can customize the dropback opacity background color button background color and even the activated button you can change the button background opacity of it focused and there are many more things you can even customize the height of the action sheet you if you want to increase the height of the action sheet or you can customize the width so you don't want to show on a whole screen so you just customize to 20% of the width of the screen and here are more events like on dismiss and how to use these these things so these are the methods associated with action items so let's use this so for this I just need to use the same thing action sheet sorry action sheet constant dot this and I just need to define uh, sorry it's a, it returns a promise so we'll use then and inside then a blank or an empty function and I just console log okay on did on sorry on did In the spelling see it works or not so and let's see when I first cancel or I just dismiss this action so it should pop the on this area it pop ups neither dismiss one more thing you have noticed that I just uh, What does this mean? So this means that here we have a few things that should be noted. So here we have one more thing that is role. So role basically has three property that you can assign. One is cancel, the other is destructive, and the third one is selected. Okay, so if you want some buttons to be selected by default whenever you open the action item, so you can give uh, role selected for example here I will give share selected role so let's see how it looks so by default this is selected so you can see the share is in some dark phase so that means it is selected or you can just change the device to iOS and here we see okay it is to zoom and okay so here you can see the share is selected okay so this works the same way in android phones also okay so here is also the share is selected and the third one is the cancel so by default if you assign a role a cancel it will automatically go at the bottom of the list of buttons so for example 
I just move the role cancel to the play. Okay, so let's see. The play is automatically at the bottom of it of the button array list. Okay, so it means you should give a cancel to those button which will be at the bottom. So by default, the cancel button is at the bottom. By default means uh, you can choose where you want to put the cancel button. But if you are giving a role cancel, so it will automatically go to the bottom. So this is how you can achieve many things. And one more and one, not one more. We have few more properties which I have listed over here. So I just paste it. OK, so like this, we have a subheader and the mode is iOS and the animate is false. You can stop the animation like this. You can see the animation. You can stop it and you can for make a backdrop dismiss false by just giving a Boolean value that is false. And you can also make the translucent background of the action sheet. So let's see it, how it works. Let's say it is refreshed. So, and this is how you can see the transparent background. Okay. And the selected is share. And we have a subheader of name photos. And here you can see. And I have just uh, switch off the backdrop dismiss. So if I click over here, then also it will not dismiss until and unless I will click the cancel. Okay. So these are the few properties you can use. You can also use the mode property for sticking to some of the custom buttons or the some of the custom styles like you want to use a material design in iOS also. So you can just assign a mode to MD. So it will give you a custom design. Hope you have seen uh, this whenever I click to action item, the backdrop doesn't animate. It just flick away. Okay. Flick. So this is all about an action sheet. For more information, you can always visit to the Anik framework site for an action sheet. So here you find many of the things which I already covered like buttons, custom animations, usage and properties like dismiss. You can also use your own animation like entering of the iron sheet and translucent properties, its methods. And finally, it's CSS, custom CSS that you can always give. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates.